Hello and welcome. My name is Michelle Brune and I'm the Executive Director here at the Colorado Therapeutic Writing Center. And we have some very special guests with us here today. We have Izzy, one of our riders, and Rod Barker, the founder and CEO of the Trail of Painted Ponies. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Fantastic. So today we will be doing the live drawing for this figurine and all the names in the hat for the drawing are everyone who has helped donate towards our end of year campaign, Paint the Pony. And right now, our Paint the Pony campaign will run until December 31st. Every dollar raised are critical funds that help support our horses, feeding our horses, caring for our horses, and allows us to continue to serve people and provide life-changing services through the power of the horse. And very special is the what the Trail of Painted Ponies really represents. And so we'll talk a little bit more about this figurine. But Izzy, I'm very curious, what horse are you riding here this session? This session I'm riding Fire. Um, I have been riding him for two sessions now. And he is just a very sweet boy and he is a very clean ride. Cool. What sort of skills are you working on right now in session? Um, right now, I my goal with him is to trot a complete circle without him stopping. That's one of his things that he really needs to work on, so I'm trying to get him to do that. There you go. Keep him motivated, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So, Rod, I, I'm also very curious. Can you tell us a little bit more about the trail and how it got started? Well, first of all, I want to thank you for allowing the trail to be a part of your organization. The Paint the Pony project that you have and the Trail of Painted Ponies have a similar sort of goal, which is to connect people and horses in special ways. The Trail of Painted Ponies started as a philanthropic public art project based in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Um, and we tried to do a couple of things. One is to explore the horse as a source of artistic inspiration and as also as a way of a creative way of fundraising for a variety of organizations. So we put out a call for artists or creative people around the country to submit designs on how they could interpret the horse as a three-dimensional canvas. Um, we picked what we thought were the best designs. We had a well-known sculptor who sculpted a horse exclusively for the Trail Painted Ponies, and we had uh, almost 100 life-size ponies that were created that were then auctioned off online and through a series of auctions to raise money, almost a half a million dollars for a variety of very worthy organizations. So we're continuing that here today. Oh, wonderful. Well, I know I'm an avid collector and I know there's collectors all over the world. And Izzy, I believe you also have some favorite Paint the Ponies. Which one yes. is yours? Well, I love all of them. All of their designs are absolutely beautiful. You guys do a great job. Um, but my favorite one is a black and white paint horse, and it's a, it looks like a Belgian rearing, mm -hmm. and that's my favorite. The name of that horse is Don't Fence Me In. Oh, fantastic! You know, oh all, all of the stories come with a story. I mean, the, with, with the inspiration, what's going on with the activity, why that breed, why that position. So it adds an extra sort of dimension of storytelling to the ponies. Sure, sure. And speaking of storytelling, so this figurine, Ride the Wind, is what the winner, which the name Izzy will be pulling out of this hat here momentarily. Rod, can you tell us a little bit more about this figurine? Well, when the Trail Painted Ponies took off, it was all the, it was the creative expression of the horse itself. And we found that the majority of the people who were responding were females, were women, were young girls who had a special relationship with a horse. So we came out with a companion line we called Horse Whispers that would depict women in very special connections with horses. This was the very first piece called Ride the Wind, and we wanted the design to sort of capture the oneness between a young woman and her horse, and then the hair and the mane blending together, cheek to cheek, captured that, and we thought that would be the right piece for CTRC. Sure, it's just, it's just gorgeous, just that bond right here, it just really represents everything that we know, what we love about our partnership with the horses. So, all right, are we ready to pull a name out of the hat? So every name in this hat represents one person. Name is written down of everyone who has helped donate towards our end of year campaign, Paint the Pony campaign. Are we ready? Izzy, drum roll. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Here we go. And, oh, I drew two. And the winner is 
Richard and Robin Gibber Gribben. Gribben. All right. So you have won this beautiful figurine. And also, there's a few other pieces that come with this as well, Rod, well, right? The we, we have several books, one of them being a coloring book, and they will also receive that as part of this package. Fantastic. Oh, well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. And thank you, everybody watching. We are just so grateful for all of your support and your help for us to continue to reach our towards our mission and reach our goals. So we can't do it without you. Thank you, everybody. And remember, if you have not had a chance to donate to the Trail of Painted Ponies, or I'm sorry, the Paint the Pony campaign, then you have until December 31st to help us reach our end of year goal. So since we're here on the property, shall we go ahead and go visit a couple of the horses? Awesome. The, the and I think, I think one of your favorites is here. Yes. All right. We'll go and say hello. Hello.